Hello and welcome to this James the Bike Guy where today we're getting a chance to take a look at a very cool and at least for me highly anticipated bike to see in the wild. This is the brand new 2023 Trek Roscoe 7. Now a while back I did a video on all the updates of this bike but that was before I got to see one in person and today this is the first time I'm seeing the brand new redesigned frame in person and I can't wait to share it with you. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you I suggest you stick around and let's check out this bike and all its features together. All right, diving into the Trek Roscoe. Now this model has been in Trek's lineup for quite a while. I believe this is the fourth generation, although I could be wrong on that. But essentially this bike began as a beginner's rowdy mountain bike and it has evolved into a true mountain bike for somebody who's using this every day as an accomplished rider or as a great second bike, a rowdy hardtail to go along with your full suspension, say your Remedy or your Trek Fuel EX. Well anyways, this bike has been totally updated. It's got a lot of cool features about it. But one of the biggest things, aside from the geometry being totally different, is the Roscoe is now a 29er. So it's coming with these 29 by 2.6 tires. And if we look back into the history of this bike, this bike was always coming in a 27 and a half plus size tire. So it's cool to see that they've upgraded that for 2023. But interestingly in the lineup, the Roscoe 6, the one down below this, that bike comes with the same frame as the previous generation, but Roscoe 7 and 8 are coming with this new frame. Now, a whole bunch of things to talk about on the new frame of this new Roscoe. Firstly, the geometry. This is a very modern geometry bike. So if we take a look at it, you can see it's got a nice aggressive stance to it. And in a size medium, like we're looking at here, it comes in with a head tube angle of 65 degrees, a seat tube angle of 73.1 degrees, a chain stay length of 430, and then the reach on this bike is going to be nice and long with a reach of 440 millimeters or an effective top tube length of 614 millimeters. And essentially what that's giving us is a nice tighter rear end with that 430 out back and then the reach going forward the front end of this bike is going to be nice and long with that super slack head tube angle but then also a relatively steep seat tube angle and what that'll do is that'll move your front center forward make the bike quite a bit more playful and also descend better with the slacker front end and then that nice seat tube angle should help keep you in a great climbing position the other thing that's changed is the front end now rocks 140 millimeters of front suspension so that is going to give you lots of suspension travel and in fact the bike is capable of running up to 150 millimeters should you want to overshock the bike the other thing that's a big change and was always a spot that people complained about with the previous gen is now we've got through axle in the back so a 12 by 148 boost through axle out back and going forward of course we've got a threaded bottom bracket they wouldn't skimp out on that but i'd love to see that they also have the iscg mounts so back there You've got all three, so you can run a bash guard, a chain guide, whatever type of protection you might want on your bike. Now this frame is gonna be made out of their alpha gold aluminum, which means that it's gonna be shaped in butted tubing. You can see that uh, it's kind of got some funky shapes to it to both help keep the standover height low, but also give lots of room for that front tire to come up with the 140 millimeter fork. And it is rocking internal cable routing all through to the bottom bracket. Going underneath, and down the chainstay to your rear derailleur or the brake on the other side. And that means that that's gonna make it a lot easier to maintain this type of internal cable routing because it's only one run down through the down tube, keeping the front end nice and clean, but easy access in the back end. Now, of course, we are rocking a dropper post internally cable routed all through the front end. And speaking of the front end of the bike, it is a tapered inch and an eighth to inch and a half head tube and something a lot of people might like is this is not rocking uh, the knock block so trek is known for their knock block which is a steering limiter but this bike because of the way the down tube comes into the head tube you can see that curve that's going to allow the fork as we spin it around to have plenty of clearance with the frame so that you don't need a limiter speaking of limits 
Tire clearance on this bike is going to be a maximum of 29 by 2.6, which is actually the tire diameter that's coming stock on this bike. And even though previous generations were 27.5 plus, there is no recommended 27 and a half inch plus size, but I'm sure some people might try out their own mullet setup with a 27.5 Outback or things like that because this Rowdy bike can definitely be customized. So earlier we talked about this being the Roscoe 7, and because the Roscoe 7 and up come with this new frame, they also are gonna come with some pretty nice part specs. And this 7 comes in at under $2,000 at $1,829, at least now in July. And for that money, you're gonna get a pretty decent part spec. Of course, when you go up to the Roscoe 8, it'll get a little more expensive and a little bit nicer part spec. But on this Roscoe 7, we're rocking a Deor, 12 speed drivetrain. So this is gonna be single ring up front and 12 out back with the Deor 12 speed rear derailleur. Of course, it's a clutch derailleur rocking the super wide range 10 to 51 tooth uh, cassette combination. So 510% out back. And then that drives forward to this race face crank set rocking a narrow wide direct mount race face chain ring. Of course, all of that is then gonna be shifted on the handlebars via this 12 speed day or shifter so thumb button to go to an easier gear and either press with your thumb or you can press with your index finger to go to a harder gear now controlling the front end of the bike is going to be a rock shock recon fork this is one place where i wish the spec was just a touch better because the recon is running relatively thin 32 millimeter stanchions but it is 140 millimeters of travel boost front end it is going to be air adjustable so you can dial it in to exactly your weight and your preference and riding style and then you do have a compression adjuster to go from open to locked out you know of course when you jump up to the roscoe 8 that fork gets a major upgrade and that's something to consider when you're comparing the two going on from that all aluminum cockpit aluminum bond trigger handlebar with 31.8 bar clamp alloy stem and of course because it's got such a long reach to the frame you can see they're running a nice stubby shorty stem should make the steering inputs direct and accurate and then over here on the left side is rocking the dropper post lever so this is going to be a transex dropper post and in fact when you hit that lever you'll see that the dropper is going to spring right up real quick and these dropper posts are going to be size specific for the bike so that you get the most amount of drop you can for the size of the bike slowing the bike down on descents is going to be the shimano mt 200 brakes these are two piston hydraulic caliper brake on the front and the rear rocking center lock rotors mounted up on the shimano hubs laced with j bend spokes to Bontrager's Line 30 rims. So these are a 30 millimeter wide rim. I love the fact that they're using Shimano hubs on the front and the rear. That's gonna add nice additional durability to this wheel set. And then the tire selection is another favorite with the XR4 Team Issue. Now, personally, I've run these tires on previous bikes and I do love how they combine some grippiness as well as uh, good speed or rolling speed. And this being the XR4 Team Issue means that this is tubeless ready, mounted up tubeless on the wheels from the factory. Of course, in a 29 by 2.6, so you're getting the max tire width that you can on this bike, as well as a little additional rollover because tire height is a function of width. So as you go to those wider tires, you also get a little extra height and a little more rollover. Well, anyways, we've geeked out on this bike enough already. It is time to find out what this bike comes in and weighs. The actual weight of the Trek Roscoe 7 in a size medium is gonna come in and weigh 30.62 pounds. Well, thanks so much for watching this video on the 2023 Trek Roscoe 7. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed taking a look at it. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button as well as browse the channel to check out other videos like this to see as well.